Every day, millions of vehicles move through our roads, creating complex traffic patterns that impact safety, efficiency, and even the environment. But how do we truly understand this movement? That's where traffic flow counting comes in. By accurately counting vehicles, we unlock powerful insights, like identifying congestion hotspots, predicting peak travel times, and planning smarter road layouts. Traffic authorities can even use this data to divert vehicles in real time, reducing gridlock and improving emergency response. Beyond city planning, businesses benefit too, delivery services optimize routes, ride-sharing apps reduce waiting times, and smart mobility solutions become a reality. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to fine-tune YOLO for traffic flow counting, turning raw video feeds into meaningful data that drives smarter decisions. Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on fine-tuning YOLO for traffic flow counting. As you've seen our intro, in this tutorial we are going to learn how you can create computer vision logic and fine-tune YOLO to create a script where you can count the flow of traffic, traffic in a particular region. So to do that, you just have to follow some steps. Our first step is to import the required libraries. Now for plotting region to track object i have created a simple script where we have to just uh, store the polygon means the points where we have clicked to store the value of our region so let's run this now I have to just click the point I want to then this is our first reason then this is our second reason now we have selected our both region let's press Q to quit as you've seen this is the value I have gotten for our region where we will track the vehicle which passed through it and count it so let's show our region we should copy this and paste it here so this is the reason i have selected so our first step is completed let's get to next step in our next step we have to write the logic behind how we are going to count the vehicle when it passed to the region we have uh, plotted so to do that we just have to create a tracker dictionary with each re polygon region as its key and its counter value as a dictionary value and when we track it using yolo model it will just increase the value by one so how our logic going to work here we are going to track not only track the bounding boxes of the uh, object but we are going to track the centroid of the object so it will make us easier to detect if that centroid is in our region and increase that region value by one so i have written that code so let's run this in this code i just have to provide the polygon which i have already created which has the region we have plotted and the video part i am going to use so let's see our result
as you see in our inference result the logic worked perfectly all the vehicles which passed through the region were counted and the value counted increases perfectly so let's get to our next step our previous step worked perfectly because the camera was of a normal view what will happen when we have a drone view like this in this scenario our yolo model will not perfectly inference the video so to do that we have to train a custom yolo model so let's train a custom yolo for model for this kind of scenario where the input feed is of a drone video let's get to our annotation part before training yolo model we have to annotate our data set on which we are going to track our objects so we can use our labeler platform to annotate our we just have to create the classes for it and use the bonding boxes on each of the detected vehicle or object we want to detect using yolo Similarly, we will repeat this process until all of our data set has been annotated and export that in the CocoJSON format. When you export the annotation in CocoJSON format, next process is you have to clone this repo. Using this repo, you will convert your Coco to YOLO format for custom model training. I have already done that. It looks like this. As you've seen, it has images, labels, and dataset.yml. This contains the names of my classes and the training and validation dataset. But I am using all my images for training. So, using this, you can convert your CocoJSON to YOLO format and then use this command line task is equal to detect, mode equals to train and the parts to dataset.yml and model name which is yolo v to train your model i have trained this model let's see the result of tracking using our custom model As you see, our tracking using custom model works perfectly. Now we have to repeat our previous task like creating region from where if, a, if the object passes, the counter will be increased by one. I have already created a region I am going to track. Let's see the region. So these are the four region I have selected. The this is road one, road two, road three, road four. And when the car passes through this, it will automatically increase the counter value by one for that specific reason. Let's see our result. As you've seen, our new custom trained model works perfectly and follow our previous logic. So now you have learned how you can track a vehicle when passed through a specific region. You can get this notebook on our video description. 
For more computer vision or machine learning related tasks, you can check our GitHub, where you will find everything in one place.